In this lesson, you will work with patterns. Recognizing and extending patterns are important skills needed for learning concepts related to an arithmetic sequence. Let's describe first what a sequence is. A sequence is a list of things that are in order. When we say the terms are in order, we are free to define what that is. They could go forwards, backwards, or they could alternate, or any type of order we want. A sequence is like a set, however, the terms should be in order, and the value should only appear once. A sequence that goes on forever is called an infinite sequence, otherwise it is a finite sequence. Now, let's look at some sequences and their rules. In an arithmetic sequence, the difference between one term and the next term is a constant. In other words, we just add some value each time onto infinity. Observe the pattern of the given example. 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22. Notice that the next terms is obtained by adding a constant of 3. In general we can write an arithmetic sequence like this. Where A is the first term and D is the difference between the terms. Called the common difference. Let's have some drill exercise. Again, arithmetic sequence is a sequence where every term after the first is obtained by adding a constant, called the common difference. Now, find the common difference and the missing terms in each arithmetic sequence. You will be given a minute to answer, and then let's check if you got it right. Okay. Time's up. So, put your pens down if you're using one. Common difference is obtained by subtracting the previous term from the next term. For letter A. That's 12 minus 3 is equal to 9. Thus, the missing terms are 30, 39, and 48. For letter B. As you have observed, the pattern of the sequence is decreasing. We could conclude that the common difference is a negative number. That's 3 minus 8 is equal to negative 5. Thus, the missing terms are negative 7 and negative 12. For letter C, as long as they're two consecutive numbers, we can always get the common difference. That's 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. Thus, the missing terms are 19 and 33. For letter D, the common difference is 8. And the missing terms are 7, 15, and 23. As for letter E, there is a dot 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 after 24, we called that as ellipsis. Meaning, the sequence for letter E continues as far as it goes, and this is an example of an infinite sequence. The common difference is 5. And the missing terms are 9 and 14. If you have any questions or clarifications regarding the drill exercise, don't hesitate to comment down below. Okay. In this section, we will talk about the general rule of an arithmetic sequence. That is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 multiplied to d. Where a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, d is the common difference. Let's have example 1. What is the tenth term of the arithmetic sequence? 2, 11, 20, 29, 38. Find the given first and then substitute it to the general rule. A sub n is the term that we're looking for. A sub 1 is 2, n is 10 because there are supposedly 10 terms. And the common difference is 11 minus 2 which is 9. And the solution is as follows. A sub 10, or the 10th terms is 83. You can pause the video to study the solution. Let's have example number 2. What is the 15th term of the arithmetic sequence, 13, 10, 7, 4? Again, find the given values. A sub 1 is 13, n is 15, because there are supposedly 15 terms, and the common difference is 10 minus 13 which is negative 3. Then, by substitution, A sub 15 is equal to 13 plus, open parenthesis 15 minus 1 close parenthesis, multiplied to 3. Thus, A sub 15 is equal to negative 29. So, before we end this lesson, I'll be leaving you task to answer. 
If you have still any questions and clarifications, feel free to comment down below. And please, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to get notified for the next lesson. This is Student Educator, hoping you well. Thanks for watching.